Hello everyone, welcome again. In this Selenium Python tutorial, we will learn how to execute your test cases on Edge browser. So Edge and IE or any other browser that we see on the list basically will be similar. So the process that we have seen for the Firefox and the Chrome driver, the process for Edge will be similar, exactly similar and for IE will be also similar. So I'll explain you about the Edge browser and then I'll briefly touch base on the Internet Explorer. So in this video, we'll learn how you can execute your test cases either in Internet Explorer or Edge browser using Selenium Python. So in order to go ahead and run your test cases on Edge browser, as we have done for Chrome and Firefox, we need to do the same thing. So we need to download the browser driver for Edge and Microsoft is implementing and maintaining this Microsoft Edge web driver. So we will go to the documentation and download the compatible version of the Edge driver, right? So before that, you need to check what Edge version you have. So to check the Edge version, I'll simply go to the three ellipses here and go to help and feedback and we'll go to about Microsoft Edge and in Microsoft Edge, edge help you will see the version that is available at the moment right so it is 88.0.705.50 so we'll go back to these edge drivers and we'll download this one so this is our version 88.0.705.50 and you have to also check which version is it it's 64 bit right so we'll download the 64 bit so we'll simply click on 64 bit and it will start the edge driver 64 bit once it downloaded we'll click show in folder and i'll do the same thing i'll copy it in the c browser drivers folder and here i will paste that particular file okay so i'll paste it here and i'll extract the contents of edge driver here okay so now you can see the MS Edge driver are uh, the contents are extracted. I'll remove this zip file from here. And now I have downloaded this edge driver.exe and I can use this into my script. Right. So I can run my script um, using this edge driver. So now let me open PyCharm and in the PyCharm, what we have to do is as we have done for the Firefox and Chrome we will simply change this Firefox to Edge and E is capital. So E, you make sure that you start typing with Edge. Okay. Uh, if you want auto suggestions to appear, then simply press dot and press uh, start with E and press control space bar and the auto suggestions will appear. Right. So control space bar is something which is required i believe in mac it will be command space bar so it, because i'm on windows it will be control space bar so i'll select edge and then i'll specify the executable path so what is the path so path is the path where i have placed the edge driver right so it is in the browser drivers I'm typing browser drivers to backslash and then ms edge driver dot exe all right so i think that's pretty much it so let's check the name it has to match exact name so ms edge driver dot exe that's correct and now i have downloaded the edge driver configured the path um, and now I should be able to run this particular test into Edge browser. So if I run this, now Edge browser should launch and should open the website for us. So you can see Microsoft Edge has launched and it will open the website, maximize the page, print the title and then finish our test. So you can see the website has launched, it has maximized in the Edge browser, right? So I'll minimize this. And you can see that the title has been printed and we are able to run our test in the edge browser right so pretty similar steps in terms of 
downloading Chrome. Um, if you if you want to run your test case in Chrome browser, Firefox browser, Edge browser, or IE, so I'll cover IE as well. So for example, I want to run this test on IE. So I'll go to the same Selenium dev, dev downloads and go to the browser section. And in the Internet Explorer, uh, it, you can see that only version 11 is supported. So if you have any other version of IE, it won't work because Edge is now uh, mostly available in the Windows OS. So for IE, we will go to the configuration, check the version of the IE you have, and then you can download the executable IE driver server and follow this link and download the IE driver, say for example, 2.39. And depending on what version of Windows you have, so you can select 32 bit and 64 bit accordingly, download this driver and place it in the location where we have placed the others, right? So, uh, I mean, whatever location you want to choose, you are, the only thing you have to make sure is in the executable path, when you are specifying the IE, you have to do dot capital I and then control space bar and select this IE, okay? And then, specify the executable path of the i driver file that you have downloaded right so it's exactly similar to what we have done for chrome firefox and edge and your test will start running on i as well right so that's how you will run your test case on different browsers now this is very manual approach as you see that we are downloading the files and placing it at a particular location and tomorrow if the browser version is updated we have to keep making sure that we download the latest version of these browser drivers so that our scripts keep running into the latest version and do not fail due to incompatibility issues so there is there is a better approach to tackle all these uh, browser drivers so what we'll do is we'll understand what is the better approach to tackle executing your test cases into different browsers the web driver manager so i'll cover the web driver manager and how to configure it and how it will make your life much much easier but because this is the beginner tutorial you need to understand what exactly goes behind when you download the browser driver when you configure so in terms of learning i'm covering all these concepts because you need to know these concepts rather than just finding the easiest way to configure things so knowing the concept applying those and then figuring out the easiest way is the best way of learning rather than uh, just going through the web driver manager and not knowing what exactly happens behind the scene all right so we have covered about Firefox, uh, Internet Explorer, uh, Chrome and Edge. Opera will be similar. Safari is a bit different. Uh, when I'll be in, on the Mac uh, machine, I'll cover the Safari configuration, how you can run your test cases on Safari as well. Okay. So that's pretty much all about uh, this particular tutorial. In the next tutorial, we'll talk more about the Web Driver Manager and how Web Driver Manager will be advantages and helpful for you in running your Selenium test cases on different browsers with. Okay, so that's all for this tutorial. Hope it was helpful. Thank you very much for watching.